20th chapter of Jeremiah. <coughs> Jeremiah was called by the Lord before he was born. We find this in the first chapter, fifth verse, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. The Lord is saying to Jeremiah, continuing on, I sanctified thee, I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations before he was born. He was on a mission. Seventh verse. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. Thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Amen. And so he is told by the Almighty that you are going to be the voice of truth. The truth that comes from the Almighty. You're going to be my voice, Jeremiah. At a time in the history of this nation of Jerusalem and Judah, they were spiraling out of control spiritually. They were in a decline and the end was in sight. In the last 40 years, Jeremiah had to minister to these people. We go on and the Lord tells him in the 8th verse, Be not afraid of their faces. And when the Lord tells you, Don't be afraid of the faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee. He's telling you because you're going to have some terrific opposition. He's not just telling you to make you feel good. Continue on in the 19th verse, And they shall fight against thee. But they shall not prevail against thee. They being God's people. The people who were gone into idolatry. And the sins were out of control. That's who he's talking about. They will not prevail against thee for I am with thee. So you know right there there's some really tough times. Amen. Difficult times coming for this man Jeremiah. <coughs> Praise the Lord we just to give you a one verse summary of what I'm talking about in chapter 5, verse 1. The Lord says through Jeremiah, Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in broad places thereof if, I, if ye can find a man, one man, if there be any that executeth judgment that seeketh the truth, I will pardon it if I find one man. And that gives you an idea of what was going on That's right. that in his nation, in, Je in, in Jeremiah's nation. He was preaching to these people and they couldn't stand him. They persecuted him every chance they, could, they got. In fact, he went through four serious persecutions. But that gives you an idea of the background. We get to the seventh verse of the 20th chapter. This is a very sensitive man, Jeremiah is. And he is subject to emotional highs and lows. And we find this to be so... <clears throat> In the, in the 11th verse, the, seventh, the 20th chapter, 11th verse, he says, here's courage, but the Lord is with me. He's with me, high point. We go on to the 12th verse. Let me see thy vengeance on them. So now he's in revenge mode. He's gone from here to there. In the 13th verse, I'm just trying to give you an idea of the sensitivity of this man. Sing it to the Lord. So now he's got praise on his lips. But watch what happens in the next verse. Curse the day whereat I was born. So that gives you an idea 
We have our highs and our lows too, don't we? Amen. So you're not much different than Jeremiah. Praise the Lord. Now we come down with that as a background, knowing he's been through four persecutions. In the seventh verse, he says, O oh Lord, thou hast deceived me, or you have persuaded me is a better interpretation. Thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. So here is this man of God preaching, prophesying, and he's being mocked by his people, persecuted by his people. And he says in the 8th verse, for since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoiled because the word of the Lord has made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. So I speak the word of God and this is what I get. Continue on, ninth verse. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. In my words, I'm not going to talk about you anymore, Lord. Every time I open my mouth, <coughs> I have what I get as terrific reaction, negative reaction. Right. So then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak anymore in his name. So I'm finished. That's what he's got in his heart, in his mind. Here's what, what, here's what happens. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. Amen. And I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay. I couldn't keep my mouth shut because there was a fire in my bones. Amen. And so I had to speak even though I didn't want to. Psalmist David had similar expression. Psalm 39, verse 1, I said, I will take heed to my ways that I sing not with my tongue. That's good, David. I will keep my mouth with a bridle and, wi and while the wicked is before me, I'll just make sure I don't talk with the wicked in front of me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace. Even from good, I didn't talk about when there was something good to talk about. I kept my mouth shut. Here, going off a little bit, David. And my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me while I was musing. While I was meditating is what he's saying. The fire burned and spake I with my tongue. The fire was burning within me and I couldn't shut my mouth. Amen. There's a time to be quiet. There's a time to meditate. But there's a time to talk. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Who's going to talk for the Lord? NBC? CBS? ABC? I don't think so. It's you and I, brother and sister, and those that know the Lord all over the face of this earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. <coughs> we continue on. <clears throat> Fire on my bones. That was in his day. <clears throat> in Jeremiah's day, the Lord anointed individuals to speak for him. But in our day, it's different. Go with me to John 16, 13. John 16, 13. The Lord anointed individuals in, in his day, Jeremiah's day, but in our day, it's different. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, and we know who the spirit is, do we not? I want to hear an amen in this house. We know who the Spirit is. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the Spirit has come, He will guide you into all the truth. 
He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. What he hears from the Lord, he's going to speak. That spirit that rests within us. And he shall shew you the things to come. Some years ago, Brother Tom had a testimony. He called the spirit of truth the truth teller. That's what you called it. The truth teller. And that spirit that resides within is the truth teller. Not just a Jeremiah, but thousands are truth tellers. And praise the Lord, we in this country, the United States of America, need more truth tellers in the pulpit. We need more truth tellers in the pew. Yes. We need more truth tellers in the government, Amen. in the White House, yes. in the Congress. Amen. Praise the Lord in the legislation, in, 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 the, in the courts. We need truth tellers, Amen. not politicians. But that's what we've got. But we need truth tellers in the schools, universities. In the media. My God, we need truth tellers in the media. Amen. Too many lies being spoken and, and just absorbed and taken. Man has a heart and a conscience that's been seared with a hot iron. No longer knows the truth. So the truth tellers, those that have the spirit that resides within must start speaking the truth. Yes. When you are in the presence of someone who is spouting off evil, same-sex marriage, or gender is your choice, my brother and my sister, the truth tellers need to talk up and speak the truth. Amen. It's no longer time to be silent. My Lord, my Lord, I look back at this country and what it was, and I see it just like Judah spinning out of control. Jeremiah was sent to speak to them, to prophesy, to preach to them. Praise the Lord, but well, we've got a lot of truth tellers that need to start opening their mouth and speak the truth. This is an abomination. That's what it is, what we're seeing today, and what's being taught in the schools. Praise the Lord. Oh, but there are consequences when you stand for the truth and ask Jeremiah. Ask Jeremiah, he'll tell you. But we have a fire within us. Lord, stoke that fire within us, Lord, that our bones start to burn. When we hear evil things, Lord, give us a mind and a heart and a mouth to speak for you. Yes. Are you hearing me, church? Yes. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah knew what the consequences were of speaking truth. And so have you. And here, know what I'm talking about. When you have spoken for the truth in the workplace, in the marketplace, you find there are consequences. You find you lose friends. But I'll tell you, I'd rather lose a friend defending the truth than offending the one I'm going to see on the other side of Jordan, the one who bled and died for me. How about you? Praise the Lord. So if we offend a friend and they're no longer a friend because we corrected them in the truth, so be it. Jeremiah lost a lot of friends. Just to give you an idea, in the 20th chapter, 10th verse, I, for I heard the defaming of many they were defaming him is what they were doing. 
Fear on every side, report, say they, and we will report it. You say something, we're going to report it. All my familiars, that is all my friends, he's talking about, all my friends, watch for my halting, saying, peradventure he will be enticed and we will prevail against him, will overcome him. This is his friends, his friends, praise the Lord. So he paid a price for speaking truth. So don't think you're alone when you speak the truth and when you correct that which is evil. And there's plenty of it going on today. Stand and speak what the Lord would give you to speak. Rebuke that which is evil. And I'm speaking to this country. I don't know who's going to see this on YouTube, but I pray, oh God, would you stoke the fire of everybody that has that spirit within them. For we need to change. We need to see a change in this country from the top to the bottom. Amen. Starting with the White House. Amen. Praise the Lord. The State House the same way. The city and the county, oh God, in this, in this state. We need to see, Lord, truth tellers taken over. Yes. Those that would speak according to the word of God. Yes, Lord. Judah paid a terrific price because they enjoyed those things that were sinful. You spoke about that today. Oh, they had a good time until the Babylonians took them over. Praise the Lord. Wake up America. Praise God. While there is time. Trust the Lord that he'll raise 10,000 Jeremiah's to speak for him. That's what we need. <coughs> I can't speak much more. But I'm going to leave you with these words. The Lord has put that spirit within that speaks truth, that reveals truth. And praise the Lord, we are to be truth tellers. Yes. Lord. In the name, name of the Lord be praised.